I'm in the kitchen here. John Granada from Camille's, my friend here. How are you? Vince, how are Always you good to see Always you. A pleasure. Joe Zito, TV's Laura. Mater D. He, he can't speak right now because mm, salami, he's general. eating a little salami. And look at us. What, what a mufalata bread, correct? This is a ciabatta bread that we're going to make a mufalata bread. with. A mufalata with. From okay. Nolens, traditional Nolens. Nolens. Okay. Now, give us an idea of what we're going to cook. It's going to be fantastic food for Super Bowl Sunday. Good. Or even this weekend. Yeah, well, this, this is week. This, this, this is it. No, no. Is it this? From yeah, it is. is. That's right. Week. I'm That's thinking. Right. I'm thinking the, uh, the All Star Game. This is no. the Super Bowl week, right. right? And we're talking Super Bowl, so we're talking crazy Super Bowl foods. That's, That's right. right. Foods that are, are really not as hard as you think to make. Yeah. You can make ahead of time, and the great thing is that I mean they're just hearty foods. Okay. Well, Look at that. So quick, let's run run some. Down. What I did tradi traditionally in New Orleans, you have the muffaletta, which is an right. oversized, crazy Italian grinder mm -hmm. uh, on a nice crusty bread that's right. laid down overnight. And they put a all kinds of things. Uh, I've, I've been down there where they've had fried oysters and uh, hot sauce. Right. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. That is a sandwich that. of of the highest order. <laughs> now, unfortunately, Indianapolis has a kind of mundane. Uh, yeah, they have they have a kind of mundane sandwich, pork which cutlet. is a pork cutlet. Cutlet with lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, mayonnaise, and mustard, but they have Peyton Manning, so. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, Peyton Manning is great, but he's actually from New Orleans, so. Meatball sliders, we got. We got no, meatball sliders are good. Yeah, we're going to show you, uh, in the last segment, we're going to show you how to do a right. couple of different other sandwiches, too, with that that are easy and very and nice. Great down. wines. And Joe's got some great wines for us. You brought three of them for us. And a know. craft beer, too. And so. a, oh, and a craft beer. Yeah, okay, I, was, I thought one of them was, was a wine. We're okay. even drinking here. Fantastic. All right, so we're going to start putting this all together. So we had a ton of food over here. And we're going to start doing it when we come right back. Until then, back to you guys. Oh, it sounds fantastic. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to start cooking now. And uh, we're making sandwiches. And Joe is... Uh, can't stop eating. <laughs> there may not be anything yeah, left anything by the left. time we're done here with Joe Zito, TV, <laughs> yeah, yeah. D, John Granada here from Camille's. We're going to start actually to make uh, a little bit of a sandwich here. Right. We're going to make the uh, muffaletta, correct? This is the muffaletta. Which is, comes from New Orleans. It originated in New Orleans, yes. Early okay. 20th century by yes. Salvatore Lupo at Central Grocery. He was a Sicilian immigrant, so right. that's why our wines are going to tie in a little of this. All dough. right, fantastic. All right, simple little Italian dressing. All right, what do I need to do here? Give me something right. to do. I'm going to... Yeah, what do I need to do? You just keep eating, Joe. Yeah, just eat, Joe. <laughs> no. um, yes. First of all, I'm yes. going to start layering cold cuts. You can go the next the next one right after me. All right. You can grab that ham. We're running the, the ham. Yep. This this ham? We're looking at salami. This is this ham? Sure. Any, any, any mm -hmm. I don't know. We got a lot of. We got salami. We got you salami. Got, we got ham. We got well, what is this? Cabagol? And, yep. Yeah, and, and as we're doing this, Vince, the important thing with yeah. any sandwich, and people overlook it many times, you've got to start off with the best bread. It is so critical yeah. to a great sandwich. This is a ciabatta bread, which is a very crusty bread. Well, right? And the reasoning, go right on top of that. Right on top. All right. The reasoning behind the ciabatta is because, you, and the crust is, you want. You want something that's going to hold up overnight because right. the whole idea of the sandwich is we're going to layer it with, with these uh, marinated olives, right. and we're going to do some pickled peppers on them, some tomatoes and onions, and some some hot peppers. Okay. And and what's going to happen is we're going to compress this overnight. Great. A plate and some brick, and and what's going to happen the All next right. day is it's going to it's I got to come together. John, I got to interrupt you. I apologize. Okay. We're going to continue to do this. When we come back, we're going to have a lot more time. We're going to, we're going to finish this thing up if Joe leaves us with anything. <laughs> oh, mother full of grace. <laughs> back to you guys. Welcome back in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Joe Zito, one of my favorite men on the planet. Oh, Joe like Granada, it. probably my second favorite man on the planet here from uh, Camille's. We're making like sandwiches galore. Oh, I mean, this whole are place sandwiches. is sandwiches. I know. I said sandwich. Well, you did. You right. sounded just the real North Providence enough for me. <laughs> we started out with the New Orleans muffaletta, right? Right. The Earlier. Muffaletta. And uh, that's that's it right here. Right, we're that, looking at that. That's, we're going to compress that overnight, and that's what happens at the end. Yep. Uh, all, all the flavors kind of go through and soak into the bread. Obviously, um, we're sticking with the Super Bowl theme. We got New Orleans. We get uh, right. Indy. St. Louis. Well, Indy. God, I said St. Right Louis. There. Sorry. Now, Indianapolis yep. mm -hmm. has what they call a pork cutlet sandwich, which yep. is a very boring sandwich. <laughs> it's just a, an oversized pork cutlet right. with lettuce, tomatoes, mayonnaise, and a little bit of uh, mustards and pickles. Okay. Um, but they have Peyton Manning, so. You had to know. throw that in there. We'll but, move along from here. So what we're going to do is we're going to Rhode Islandize it. Excellent. And we're going to take some beautiful crusty breads and mm -hmm. we're going to slice them down the middle. We're going to get we got some chicken cutlet yep. with some rabi and some shot provolone cheese. Ah, oh, nice. Right? So that's that spell that we're. And would you drizzle right just now. a little oil on the top I did there? A little olive yeah. oil and, and uh, some fragrances on the top. 
and then you will compress that. You put that aside for your guests. Okay. And then what you do is you just cut these into pieces. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So that everybody can have a little Let piece. me ask you real quick. You talked about compressing this with a brick overnight. You really yeah. do that. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, what you do is you put a plate. You put it on a plate. Uh -huh. You put another plate on top, and you put weight it down with bricks. You really, okay, if you don't have a brick, what else would suffice? Um, a cinder block. <laughs> no. no, any kind of small a cinder plate. block. More, more plates. What? No, not everybody has a Either cinder block. Either that or a two-year-old. Whatever you happen to have oh around. Oh my gosh! You know, yeah, yeah honey, I'll give you five dollars in your lawnmower jar if you sit on the sandwich all night. Let's there you go. Italian thing. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, secondly, what we did was we, we got some beautiful sausages, yep. and we got a whole loaf of Italian bread, regular Italian bread. This is be a ciabatta bread. This okay, is Italian gotcha. bread. And what I did was I have three different kinds of peppers on this one. Oh. Mm. We have the regular red peppers. That I, what I did was I roasted them in the oven. Yep. We have what you call piquillo peppers, which Ooh. they call pepperdus. You can yep. find these in the market. They are absolutely insane. And we have homemade pickled peppers also. Okay. So you got three different uh, variations going on. Joe, what were you going to say? The, I was going to say that the point for the viewers is don't be boring. Have fun. This is Super Bowl. This is an American holiday. I know. And you just have to have fun, you know? Yep. And look at this stuff. You can have your own variations of it. You've got recipes online mm -hmm. and really can have fun with this muffaletta. And as far as the wines, okay? Okay, what are you suggesting to serve? You know what? I think it's more of a beer holiday, though. Yeah, I know. Well, we'll get to that, too. But, yeah. but very briefly, in, in honor of Salvatore Lupo, okay. who originated in the early 20s, 20th century, the Mufaletta sandwich. He was a Sicilian immigrant. May yep. have two gorgeous table wines nice. from Sicily, okay? Mm -hmm. This is Grillo Catarato, right from Sicily. It's clean, it's nice. crisp, it's delicious. It'll complement that without overpowering that because you've got beautiful ingredients. Okay. And this is a red table wine here, and it's called Baglio del Sole. Uh -huh. And these are both from Sicily. They're beautiful. They're $13 a bottle at Gasparro's. You know Mark Gasparro is yep. my dear friend, and that's where I get my wines. You can find them right there. Now, beer. You mentioned beer. Okay, I don't yes, like boring beer. We all know where we can get beer, and we know mm -hmm. six packs and yep. Johnny six packs out there. Craft beers are what's hot now. Right. Incredible craft beers. This is one from New York State, okay, and, and it, it's, it's from the Southern Tier Brewing Company. And it's an India Pale Ale, and it's called Unearthly. Okay, now craft beers usually come in 22-ounce bottles, yep. higher alcohol content, much more expensive. But the key to craft beers, you don't have five, six, seven of these, the hops, the flavors, yeah. they make them in smaller amounts. And they're all the rage now, and there's hundreds and hundreds of beautiful uh, craft beers, and, and they're more like, a, some of them are like a dessert in their own way. Well, listen, we got about a minute here, so we want to actually put the finishing touches on our last big sandwich. Ready? One thing I want to add to, oh, yeah. Oh! oh! Beautiful. <laughs> Which one should we hack into? I want to try uh, a bite. Why don't you try the muffaletta? And we want you to okay. try this at home. There is danger yeah. involved, but try it at it's home. Very crusty, so be careful. And as they mentioned, the bread is the key. Oh. Oh, listen to that. Ready? Did I have one of those? Did you hear that? Yeah, you did. Right. No, I didn't. I had a meatball slider. Don't forget meatball sliders. We got those, too. We Gorgeous. Some meatball sliders, which are very easy to make. Is that nice? Let's <laughs> hold <laughs> oh, That's the whole good. point. You want a beer with that? <laughs> I gotta wash it down with a beer in a yeah, second. One. Sony the I don't know if that's allowed, but listen, one quick thing to say. If you're having a Super Bowl party, easy, inexpensive way to please a crowd. Right. You've gotta do it. Oh, right? fantastic. Absolutely. You know, what do you what else do you need? And it's really beautiful Nothing. compliments of Chef Granada and the Roach. John, Joe, thanks so and much for joining always us. Always great to see you. Great to see you. Thanks for feeding the whole station with all this as well. <laughs> right now we're gonna we're gonna head things over to Michelle. Uh, Go Orleans. Go in Orleans. All right.